Hey Libra, real quick, do you want to move in with someone or are you hoping that someone asks you to move in with them? Um, are you having to rearrange your life to let someone come and stay with you? If it's not that, this could be like you wanting to start a new relationship with someone or you want to start um, some type of commitment. You know, it could be a business partnership. It could be committing to like working out, but it's something that you really could feel like you need to do. You could also in the next couple of days want to uh, get your lick back over something that somebody did or said to you. And as I say that, it's a net flying in here. Um, you could have like a monitoring spirit, you know, looking at your social media, trying to figure out what you're doing, what you're up to. And this is like a known enemy of yours that you do not stand. And if they do the wrong thing or say the wrong thing, it's like it's on site. And I say all of that because this weekend on the 19th, Mars and Aries will conjoin the North Node in Aries. This is a lot of masculine, fiery energy, um, regardless if you are male or female. This is also very passionate and motivating um, energy as well. So you may be motivated to start dating someone new you could be motivated to get out of that relationship or that situationship that doesn't serve you you could also be motivated to get back at your enemy your ops there could also be some type of contract that you're looking at or an agreement that you want to sign and get into maybe about a house or an apartment or some type of agreement that you've been maybe you've been dragging your feet on this or maybe you want it to, you know, put it off. But you feel like this is like the right time for you to sign or agree to this whatever it is so before i go any further i am your dope astrologer and tarot reader this is your weekly check-in thank you so much for hanging out with me click that subscribe button if you like astrology tarot and spiritual tips so let's cut your cards was that the the chariot, yeah, some of you, for whatever reason, if you are wanting to move, maybe you haven't found the right place yet, and you will. Oh, speaking of your ops, five of swords, bottom of the deck. This is like vengeful energy, retaliation, um, a really bad argument that could be you know what this is all about um and it kind of like with the wheel of fortune aquarius leo taurus scorpio energy it kind of like um oh it caused something to change in a relationship or a partnership or some type of agreement some of you now this ain't gonna resonate with everybody some of you Libras out there you got put out of your your apartment or your home that you were renting maybe because you got in a fight the police were called um your kids got into it and the landlord you know terminated your lease yeah and so you've been comfortable or this was a, an uncomfortable situation for you to begin with some of you you did something sneaky and shady to get out of your lease to get out of an agreement yeah because somebody or something wasn't budging they weren't gonna let you get out of it so let's see what this is about what's the current energy for leo conflict is the current energy five of wands but conflict is bringing some type of change what type of change love or just home and security you feeling safe you feeling secure some for some of you this conflict it made you rely more on your intuition uh cancer energy 
Yeah, it was definitely about a home, your feelings of security, safety. This could be dealing with a family. Maybe you had to throw somebody out the house. Maybe somebody threw you out the house. Maybe you're going at it with somebody in your family. There's conflict here. This could be with your mother or um, mother figure, grandmother, maternal figure. What else? Judgment in reverse. You're wishing you would not have done something. You're wishing you would have done something differently now that you look back on it. You know, maybe I shouldn't have moved in with that girl. I knew she was crazy, but I didn't think she was going to do that to me. You know, or I knew I, I, I shouldn't have took in my cousin because they done got me thrown out my house, my apartment for being ratchet and fighting everybody in the neighborhood. Like you feel some of you could feel like you made a bad decision or um, somebody could be pressing you to do something you don't feel good about. Who is this person? They could be a Taurus. They could be like um, the matriarch, uh, the father, grandfather, grandparents, or um, just someone who has like a lot of influence when it comes to your family. If this isn't family, this is somebody you're in a relationship with or you have some type of contract or agreement with Taurus. This could be church related as well. This could be a teacher. Who is this? An Aquarius could be significant as well with a star card. There was some type of unexpected change to a relationship. Again, it doesn't have to be romantic. There was some type of change. How do they feel about Libra? Hmm. It could be... It could come out that they were taking advantage of your hospitality, your good heart, your good nature... Pisces, Cancer, Energy, Earth. What is this about? Could be someone from your past that you were trying to help out. Or, you know, they are wanting you to help out. And you're like, no, nah, I don't think that's a good idea. Maybe you don't think it's a good idea that you have a reunion, a reconciliation with this person. For some of you, this is involving uh, if it's if, if this involves a family issue, some of you may feel like you are responsible for like getting two people in the family to make up or maybe you're being pressured to like make up with someone in the family like apologize for the argument the fight that you had or something like that or it could be if you apologize I'll let you move back in and some of you are like no nah, I'm not doing it or if you tell me what really happened, we'll forgive this or we'll um, let you move back in or something like that. Oh, this kind of feels like a uh, what, what they call it, a plea bargain, like you plead to a lesser crime or something like that. I don't feel it's criminal. It could be, especially with the judgment in reverse. I feel like it for some of you this is like a a court situation. Because I hear someone saying like a detective, "Okay, if you tell me what really happened, we'll go easy on you or we'll do this for you. We'll do that." And some of you are like, "No, nah, uh-uh." Or you're telling them what you think they want to hear. 
how do you feel about this person you already know they sneaky or you are already aware of something that they did that wasn't right you could be ignoring this person because of that they could be ignoring you what's their next action a new beginning with the ace of wands this is also aries energy let me clarify this before i say anything page of wands if you know anything about tarot you already know what this is this is sexually motivated and that doesn't have to be a bad thing um so if you're waiting to reconnect with someone yeah they'll reach out but it's more than likely it's sexual sexually motivated it's because they want something they may have to approach you differently than before and it's almost like they have like a, a, a spark of inspiration like oh I know how I'm going to approach Libra now I know how I'm gonna yeah I know how I'm going to talk to Libra now so that we can get on the same page and I can get whatever it is that I want and make them happy at the same time lovers when I was going through the bottom of the deck lovers was in the reverse so although I do believe this is sexually motivated this is also someone who they don't really know what the future holds or what they want they don't have any explanations but they do know that they want to work things out with you and again if you're dealing with like a friend or a family member this is like you approaching the situation differently to get a positive outcome what is the outcome peace and harmony so if there has been chaos in your home or your family or even your love life this is saying be patient it's coming there will be peace soon Sagittarius energy and you don't have to like juggle anymore with the two of pentacles in reverse um some of you feel like you were caught in the middle and you were the one with the temperance having to like be the mediator libra i mean that's what you do that's what libras do they balance the scales some of you i said that this was like a uh this could be a legal situation some of you could be a lawyer some of you are trying to find the right lawyer for this situation and you will and i feel like some of you have procrastinated a little bit too yeah what's your advice huh so remember um the lovers was that was in reverse right so now it's upright um ace of pentacles your advice is with your patience there's a union that's bringing for new energy but also new opportunities there could be new opportunities for abundance with you and this person or this is just the gift of stability the gift of comfort the the gift of okay my family is good again okay I'm not going to jail I just had to pay some money I just you know whatever I'm good me and the lawyer me and the court whatever we reached an agreement i'm good you know me and this person from the past i'm we're good okay so you're good you'll be good so libra i hope that was helpful leave me a comment let me know what you think i'll see you on the next one